So today I have with me the Winix 5500 air purifier. So I just want to do a quick setup and give my first impressions of this. So the first thing I see on top is going to be the instruction manual. And we're also going to have the remote control. And then the styrofoam piece comes right out. So here's the air purifier itself. And now as you saw here, the lid just comes right off. And this is whenever we want to go ahead and replace the filter. And the cool thing about this lid is the fact that it's going to be magnetized. So we just pull it out and it comes off real easy. There's gonna be two magnets up top over here, and at the bottom, there's just gonna be these hooks that hook onto the bottom. And I'll take out the filter. These tabs just have to be pushed downwards, and this pops right out. And this is gonna be the screen filter, so it's gonna go ahead and filter out the thick particles, sort of like dust or pet hair. And now putting the filters inside here are pretty easy. It's gonna start with this white one, and now this is gonna be the true HEPA filter. It's what captures 99.97% of airborne particles. Uh, up to 0.3 microns in size and up top here we see this is the direction it should go uh, it says airflow so it says insert with arrow pointing towards the back of the unit so just like so and then there's also going to be like this little tab which makes it easy to come off and next comes this carbon activated filter and this one is going to be washable and if you look closely there's going to be some little particles in here and this is what's going to capture household odors and now we can put the screen back in here and again this just clips into place and then finally the cap so these will hook onto the bottom and then i can just gently push it in and it goes ahead and is nicely secured so when setting this up make sure it's about 12 to 18 inches away from the wall and then also be on a hard surface i'm currently on a, a carpet over here but this is just temporary just to kind of show you through the whole thing and this is extremely, extremely quiet. I currently have it on night mode, on sleep mode. So it's going to be the lowest possible setting. And it's not going to be the lowest fan speed. It's going to be even lower than that. And it's very, it's, it's not very audible. In other words, I have to put my ear to it. And then I could hear it like a faint, faint noise. But let's move out of that. And let's actually go to auto mode. And with auto mode, it's automatically going to go ahead and turn on plasma wave. And right now it's just going to adjust to whatever fan speed it needs. In this case, it's going to go to three because I don't have the best air quality in this room. It's currently poor because it's red. If it's an amber color, it would have been fair. And if it's blue, it would have been good. And now we can manually turn plasma wave on or off just with the button. Now keep in mind that when plasma wave is on, you might hear some sort of noise or sort of beeps, but that's just going to be particles that it's intaking. And fan speed can be adjusted manually here as well too. So right now it's at three. And if I press it one more time, it's going to go to turbo. And as you notice right there, auto mode shut off just because I'm manually controlling it. But let me go back to auto and it'll adjust back to three, which is what it needs now because the air quality and now timer. So I can set it to one hour, four hours, eight hours. But let me just turn that off. Now, taking a look at the controller itself, it's going to be pretty limiting in in function. There's only really the main things you need, which is going to be to power it on or off to increase or decrease the fan speed. And then we're also gonna have it to set it to auto or to set the fan speed to turbo. In other words, be maximum, which is gonna be right over here. Let me just go ahead and decrease it. And here you can see when I press turbo, it goes all the way to four. And now taking a closer look, we can see the check filter indicator. And this indicator is gonna go ahead and light up when it's time to check the filter. So every three months, the carbon filter should be washed, and that's going to be the black portion. And the HEPA filter, that's not to be washed, that's to be replaced. And both are meant to last roughly 12 months. And of course, the pre-filter, which is going to be literally right over here, this is going to be cleaned every 14 days or so. And that's going to be done with the vacuum. There's also going to be this reset button that's only to be pressed with a little pin once the filters are changed. So overall, the Winix 5500 air purifier doesn't take up too much space. It's about 15 pounds in weight. It looks pretty nice. Now, of course, this is going to be the darker version, the charcoal gray, but there is going to be a gray option and other color options, I believe. Now, as far as this purification goes, it's supposed to be for 360 square feet. So if you have a fairly large room or a small apartment, it would work great. And in this case, since this is currently in my bedroom, this is going to be the perfect size. This actually might be a little bit overkill for this room because this room isn't that big. And this is going to be pretty handy, especially because I have this guy here. So I let this run for some hours and it's currently nighttime. And here you can see 
and went ahead and turned blue, which means the air quality is a lot better now. But yeah, that's a quick look at the Winix air purifier.